Well, just the final little bits of Vaseline being put on the important areas here for Matt Brown and obviously all the checks before he makes the walk up the steps. And into this beautiful cage. And now we've got Matt Brown into the cage, both fighters into the cage. We're going to pass you off to Chris Benson, who will announce both fighters. Our first fight about to get underway here. Got Gary Brown in the red corner. With the red gloves, black and blue shorts. We've got Matt Brown in the blue corner, the black with the white trim. And instantly we've got a takedown with a good entry from Gary Brown. Yeah, we're going to have to call them Gary and Matt here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can get away with just calling them Brown. But... Looking for the back straight away here, Gary Brown. Yeah, he's got one hook in. He's going to struggle to get that second hook in, though, just because of where the fight is against the cage. But he'll just land some ground and pound. Some heavy up. ground and pound there yeah. as well. The referee's taking a good look. Ideally, what he wants to do is just pull him away from the cage so he can slip that right hook in, take his back. But he's hopped off just as Matt Brown's trying to get back up to his feet. Dump back down. Nice work there from Gary Brown. Yeah, some good pressure, good control, and you know we've seen two good takedowns so far from Gary Brown. Got Dan Good there in the corner of uh, Matt Brown, barking out some instructions. Not the place that he'd want his fighter to be early on. As Gary Brown steps over into Man, he's in a very dangerous position now. Yeah, and Matt Brown rolls over, he gives him his back momentarily, but Gary Brown hops off and now he's back into this front choke position. I can't really see if he's got his hands connected, but it looks dangerous. Yeah, the head's out now, he's safe, John. Yeah, Matt's looking uh, looking calm still on the bottom. He doesn't uh, just saw his, his head pop out there and he didn't look like he was in uh, in too much danger. Didn't look like he was panicking or anything too much. He's just maintaining that breathing and keeping calm as Gary Brown keeps a ferocious top pressure here. Yeah, and Matt Brown is trying to get up to his feet. He's doing the right things, but it's this top heavy pressure from Gary Brown that's causing him from being able to stand up. When he gets close, he's just getting dragged straight back down. I think from a physicality perspective, John, Matt Brown, sorry, Gary Brown is looking like the stronger fighter in there at the minute. Yeah, definitely. And as soon as Matt Brown gets back to his feet, he gets dumped straight back down again. He's having real problems there with the, uh, with the takedown defence. Gary Brown is just putting on a pace at the moment. He's, he's not allowing Matt Brown any space, any time to breathe and just smothering him. And, uh, and this is horrible when you're on the bottom. Yeah, and from Gary Brown's perspective as well, it's impressive because every time he does get a takedown, he lands in a good position on the mat. He doesn't just land in guard. Just looking for that. Yeah, he's trying to attack the neck again, again yeah. Matt Brown's doing a very good job of defending this though. We have to say that, um, that he's defended well. He hasn't really been hit with too many big shots yet. And he is getting back to his feet. It's just when he gets back to his feet, he's got to be able to maintain that base and stay on the feet. Yeah, it's the physicality and, and the pressure that Gary's putting on him. Matt's just having a really difficult time, just trying to get off. It's, it's almost like being stuck to him like glue. And there he goes again with another takedown, completed. Yeah. And again, once again, into straight into half guard. This is what I mean. This is why I'm impressed with Gary Brown. When he's scoring these takedowns, he's landed in good top positions. Yeah, this is a very dominant round for Gary Brown. Matt Brown hasn't really been able to get off any offence. Uh, Gary Brown's landed some nice left hands when uh, when it's hit the mat and, uh, and he's been landed some ground and pad. And to be honest, that first round, I don't know if you'd describe it any differently, but I'd dis uh, describe it as quite soul-destroying for Matt Brown. You yeah. get it back to your feet and you're just getting taken back down over and over again. You, you need to be able to keep it down. That corner team is going to be desperately saying to him, You've got to keep this on the feet. Yeah, I think we're looking at a 10-8 round there as well, John. You know, it was it was dominant from Gary Brown from the from the get-go. As soon as the referee said fight, Gary Brown was over in the face of Matt Brown, pushing him back against the cage. And it's just been a case of him just scoring takedowns throughout and top control, a bit of ground and pound submission attempts. 
Yeah, I think uh, Dan Good there in the corner of, uh, of Matt Brown will just be saying, keep the distance. Make sure your, fen uh, your bat does not get pushed up against the fence because that is where, the, uh, where Gary Brown is shooting for those double leg takedowns and he's, uh, he's landing them with, with relative ease, to be fair, in that first round. So Matt yeah. Brown is going to want to really, really keep his back away from that fence. Keep the distance, use that jab as a, uh, as a range finder. And uh, for Gary Brown, his team will be saying more of the same, please. Absolutely. Gary Brown again putting the pressure on, landing some good punches, a good straight left there. Shooting in for another takedown once again. Ooh, a cage grab there from Matt Brown. Yeah, he lands that takedown as well. Matt Brown did a good job of circling off the fence in that first exchange and, uh, and just changing the angle, but then he got backed up again by Gary Brown's pressure. And I'm really impressed with, uh, with Gary Brown's pressure, actually. He's, um, he's right in the face of, uh, of Matt Brown, giving him no room. Making sure he, he puts the fight in the position that he wants it to be in. Up against the fence so he can shoot that double leg and get the fight to the mat. Yeah, he's in a really beneficial position here as well where he is in the cage because he's right next to his corner. who will be giving him instructions, step-by-step -step positional advice. Again, another good stand-up from Matt Brown. You've got to give him credit. He is working hard to constantly get back up to his feet. He's now defending this takedown. Yeah, he's defended this takedown a lot better than the one so far, but he's, he's going to be... Relentless pressure, John. You know, when... The hands were locked under the butt, you know, most of the time when that happens, the fighter's going to be racking up some air miles, and that's exactly what happened there. But like I say, credit to Matt Brown because he's not just he's not just standing there and just allowing things to happen, you know, he's working defensively. Yeah, Gary Brown did a great job there, just turning the corner on that takedown, and now he's, he's in the mount, and this is a very nasty position again for Matt Brown. But he's done a really good job of getting out of these dangerous positions. It's just unfortunate he keeps finding himself in these positions to start with. Yeah, it's just grueling pressure now from Gary Brown that's just going to be landing some ground and pound. He's not overworking, he's just landing when he needs to land. No unexerted attacks. Yeah, he's doing a good job here as well when he... Um, now he's got into the mind, just to maintain that position, not to go wild and swing a flurry of shots. He's just make sure that... That base is steady and peppering away now with right hands. Yeah, he's managed to get him away from the cage as well, which is an advantage for Gary Brown because now Matt Brown can't use the cage to stand to help him stand back up to his feet. The cage is a good tool for that. Yeah, just a little breather here for Gary Brown on top and Matt Brown on bottom as well. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm sure both of them will be uh, pleased about. Yeah, it's a bit of an awkward position, this, because Matt Brown's sort of on his hip on the side. You know, it's not full mount, it's not a back take, sort of on the side, and he might be able to escape out of the back Yeah, he did he a does. nice job there, but straight away on the legs is Gary Brown pushing him back up against the fence. He, he hasn't locked those hands, though, yet. This is a nice wide base, but then he just... He had that wide base, and then he just came to, seemed to step his legs back inside and allow, uh, allow Gary Brown to lock the hands. And like you said, once those hands are locked it's pretty certain that you're getting taken down to the mat. Yeah, and I think that Matt Brown needs to make some adjustments here with these takedowns because when the takedown entry is coming at him, he needs to start digging for those underhooks, getting the underhooks and then trying to defend from there. What seems to be happening is the double leg takedown is being shot and he's just getting his arms over the top, locked around the body and trying to defend that way and that's not the correct way to, to defend in those positions against the cage. You need to dig those underhooks. Yeah, definitely. I mean the corner here Gary Brown nearest to us the commentary desk I'm sure will be delighted with their uh, with their athletes performance so far you after 18 months away from uh, from any kind of uh, competitive activity you've got to be happy when your when your fighter comes out lands takedown after takedown hasn't really taken any damage through two rounds yet and uh, it's looking comfortable so far if it does go to uh, the judge's decision after this third and final round. Yeah, it looks like another 10-8 round, John. And what's more impressive is the actual style that Gary Brown's got. You know, you talk about the conditioning and the cardio, having 18 months away from the sport. That type of style is so grueling and taxing on the cardio. So, again, credit to Gary Brown. Yeah, nice touch of the gloves. And straight away there, Gary Brown shooting here, I think. He's a That's bit telegraphed. First, yeah, first uh, takedown really defended from, uh, from Matt Brown. He gets to start swinging in a, in a phone booth here. Yeah, Gary Brown's looking tired now. 
Matt Brown seems to have found a second wind. He just needs to shout it. Come on at him. Every time they look at each other, he's shouting, come on. He really enjoys these big exchanges, but nice defense there. And that's a good right hand from Matt Brown. He just needs to stay at distance as best he can. He can't, because again, this is just going to come from Gary Brown. And unfortunately, that was looking great for Matt Brown. He was putting the pressure on. He was landing hard punches. He was defending takedowns. But ultimately, like I said, Johnny got too close and he got taken down. He just That was the moment where he just needed to have a quick couple of seconds, get his distance, exit, find your angles, get back to the centre of the cage. It just wasn't there for him this time. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think the corner of Gary Brown will be breathing a sigh of relief there because I'm sure they'd have been uh, looking at that flurry of exchanges and... Uh, and saying we, this is not what we want. Yeah, Gary Brown found that, that one burst of energy that was able to allow him to get a takedown. But once again, Matt Brown stands back up to his feet. I'm really impressed with that defensive work with his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu managing to constantly get back up to his feet. Yeah, it shows great heart as well. I mean, because as I mentioned earlier, this is soul destroying. For people who have trained and or people who haven't trained at home, if you're on the bottom and constantly getting taken down and having to get back up, it's absolutely exhausting. And to keep getting up over and over again is fantastic. But we've seen Gary, uh, Gary Brown now step over into Mount again, a very dangerous position. Yeah, he's got a full mount now against the cage. But again, Matt Brown's doing the good... Oh, beautiful, beautiful reversal. Sweet. That's superb reversal from Matt Brown out of nowhere. And he's swinging again. Single leg attempt now from Gary Brown. Drove him against the cage there. It's a good job we've got a reinforced cage here, John. <laughs> Absolutely. I was a bit worried for the cameraman then. He was shaking on his ladder, but... This is fantastic from Matt Brown, though. Unbelievable. Heart is phenomenal. And he's looking for a guillotine, choking. I mean, he must know that he needs to finish this fight, so... And coming back to what you were saying, John, about, you know, it being soul-destroying for Matt Brown getting taken down and controlled. You know, we're only human beings. It's, it's very easy to quit and your morale to go, but Matt Brown stayed in this fight. He's got to defend another takedown. And this is where I mentioned earlier on, he's got to start digging the underhooks here. And he's trying to get the underhook, it looks like, or pushing his head Pushing down. down on the head, that's... Yeah. Good step there, but yeah, like you say, he needs to start digging those underhooks. We'll push down on the head now the heads to the side of him but there's only 10 seconds left so I don't think he's going to get much offence off but a brilliant third round from him we, we thought it was pretty plain sailing into going into that third round but what a turnaround in that last round great exchange here at the end and I'm not a judge John like, I think that the first two rounds were 10-8 were rounds for, for Gary Brown and I think Matt Brown took that final round you know heart for days toughness for days a brilliant first fight and we're going to now hand over to our MC Chris Fensom to deliver the scorecards and the official result. And just as we anticipated, John, the unanimous decision for Gary Brown. A really good fight, great conditioning and cardio to come back after 18 months to put that type of style and pressure on his opponent. And we cannot leave this fight without mentioning quickly with Matt Brown the toughness and heart that he showed to not only stay in the fight, but to also come and have a final great third round. Yeah, fantastic work from both fighters. Gary Brown relentless with his takedowns. Matt Brown, superb heart, constantly getting back to his feet. Swinging for the fences in the third round. Great fight to open things up here.